Hey everybody, it's Captain CA, and I'm here with Flaps Class YouTube today, and I want to give you another little short tip that's going to help you combat these late summer blues with the high tides. Some of you call them king tides. What's a king tide? A king tide is a higher than normal high uh, that we experience in the summer months, especially uh, the, the end of August going into September every year. And these tides usually add sometimes six, eight, sometimes a whole foot of extra water. So I want to, to show you a few of the things that I'm doing to catch fish. All right, to review one more time, the king tides are higher than normal highs. So it creates a problem, especially if you're fishing in the marsh, if you're fishing uh, on a flat here in Florida, any of those scenarios, it spreads fish out, makes them tough to find. So what's an easy way to find fish when they're spread out on high tide? It's not to fish your, your typical glory holes that you've been counting on day in and day out every time you've gone since the spring. You've got to go somewhere where bait collects. And where is that going to be? Structure. So instead of fishing the flats and the points of marshes and, and, and the ponds, think about fishing weirs, jetties, docks. Docks are awesome spots to fish. Uh, any place where you might have a submerged shallow rock pile or anything like that. Any place where you can put current and structure together, there's likely going to be bait fish. Now, you might have to change your tactics. You might not be able to target redfish. You might be targeting snook or flounder or sea trout. Um, but, but this is very effective. So how are you gonna fish this little bit deeper structure? It's not that deep. We're still talking shallow. I'm, I like to fish water that is no deeper than eight feet deep. Well, one of my favorite tricks is to use a little bit heavier grip pin hook. This is a Mustad grip pin hook. It's a quarter ounce and I put it on a smaller, this is the four inch Z-Man diesels in, uh, in the Green Lantern color. It's a great bait fish imitator. Now you can experiment with color and, and do whatever you want, but I guarantee you this one's going to get chewed on. So look at, look at baits like this or look at lipped baits like the uh, L30 from Miralore. The L30 is a great bait. To, uh, to get down to that three to six foot range and bounce around the top of structure and catch fish. Let's take a close up look at these baits. All right, here's a couple of my King Tide Busters. Now by all means, this is not everything you could possibly use, but these are a few fan favorites for me personally that have worked over the years. Now we talked or touched on a little bit earlier in the video, in the YouTube video, about the diesel minnows. This is the Green Lantern. You can see I'm using the Mustad grip pin quarter ounce. This is the five on. I want plenty of bite. Uh, it's perfect for skipping docks or even just straight cranking uh, over rock piles and whatnot. It's a really good dock fishing tool. Now, we also talked a little bit about the L30, which is the lip plug. That's great around the docks. It's also good around shallow rock piles. And when I'm fishing near jetties or weirs, I'll use a fast sinking plug like this one here. This is, this is the classic 52M, sinks at about one foot per second. So, I mean, you can get down to, to six, eight feet pretty quick with that. It's this good deep water bait, often bails me out in many, many instances. All right, another good skipping bait for the docks would probably be the Easy Shrimp. This is the Night Glow with the Chartreuse Tail. It does a really good job, sinks fast. It weighs a little more than a quarter with that heavy hook. Plus it has an adjustable weight system in it. And you'll see where there's little segments where you can bite them off. But all fish love shrimp. It does a good job, especially when flounder and redfish are around the docks. And then lastly, if you're looking for something that'll sink a little bit faster than your diesel minnow with a keel weighted hook like that, go head weighted. Z-Man makes the new Texas eye jigs and this is a great way to Texas rig a bait, okay? And you can use it on a jerk shad, a little bit bigger offering. It's gonna get down quick. It's going to get where you need it, around docks, around bridge fenders, around rock jetties, and you're going to be able to stay 
trouble free. These are all really good baits when you're looking to target fish around a little bit deeper structure this time of year during the king tides. So those five baits, they really will hit home uh, when fish are spread out, whether you're trying to just catch a few for the, for the table or the grill at home, in my case, the fire disc, or if you're just looking for some action, late summer action when the fish are really tough to find. Remember, not only are you battling the king tides, but you're battling high water temps. So that little bit deeper water with the current little cooler probably going to do a lot better so don't forget those five little baits there will put you where the fish are and hopefully put a few more over the gunnel for you captain ca richardson with flats class youtube and we'll be bringing more of these tips to you soon in our online classes so stay uh stay subscribed to us we need your subscriptions so that you will um, become a better fisherman hopefully take care everybody